All right, so the next one. This answer is equal to 2. Now, if you guys remember seeing in your uh, calc or in the, um, what you guys remember seeing was in, um, Sven, put that up, please. Thank you. Um, we had, um, what was I thinking of? Oh, in your, in your work, you guys had period as an aid, right? This is what I mean by as period as an aid. First of all, we have tangent 675. Do you guys agree with me that tangent 675 is greater than one rotation around a circle? Yeah. Right? Now, remember, when we were graphing, man, this is pi tangent, but remember, when we were graphing sine and cosine, 2 pi was the period for sine and cosine, right? It took a distance of 2 pi for the graph to repeat itself. Well, if you think about that in the unit circle, when you go around 2 pi, have you done one revolution of a circle, right? Then you're really just doing the same angles again if you're going around a unit circle. Does that kind of make sense? I don't understand what that, what you mean. What I'm trying to tell you is, this has already gone around the circle once, right? If you were to look at graphing this, we know that all the way around is 360, right? And then how much farther, after I go around 360, how much farther do I need to do to get to 375? 315. Well, what I'm telling you is using period of an aid, does it make sense that I could, instead of doing all of that, I could just do the red angle? Wouldn't the red angle, drawing the red angle be much easier? Yes? Oh, I mean, yes. I mean the red? Oh, 315 would be less than 45. Yes, thank you. I don't know where I was doing that. I thought I'd do a 325 for some reason. Thank you. So anyways, wouldn't it be easier, though, to do the red angle rather than doing loop around and then over? You guys see that? Yes? What do we, does you guys remember what we call that red angle and that black angle? Starts with the C and rhymes with coterminal. Coterminal, Co right? Coterminal angles. They have the same initial side and they have the same terminal side. The only difference is the red one basically goes directly there and the black one goes around once and then goes there, right? So when we're saying using period of an aid, a little helpful hint, and we're going to do it for these two. Whenever you guys see an angle that's greater than 360, write it as a period in an aid, a period of an aid. And what I mean by that is tangent of 360 degrees plus 315. Do you guys agree with me that 360 plus 315 is 675? Yeah. Do you agree with me that 360 is just one revolution about the circle? Yeah. So do I really need to do that black rep? Do I really need to do that first circle? No. No. So tangent of 375 is equivalent to the tangent of 315 degrees. These are coterminal angles. These are coterminal angles. All right, so now let's go and take a look at, here's my angle. So here's my angle. All the way around the circle is 360, right? So if here's my angle, how far do I need to get to here? How far? 45 degrees. So you could say theta prime is equal to 45 degrees, right? Well, let's look at what is, the, what is 45 degrees in the first quadrant? That is square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2. Yes? So can we figure out then what this one would be? Because they're both, you guys can see, do you guys see how these points are literally just reflections of each other? So what's negative? The y coordinate. So they're asking you for the tangent, which is y over x, so it should be a negative 1. Right, so it's negative square root of 2 over 2 divided by square root of 2 over 2, which is negative 1. You can, but you're going to get the exact same answer.